Hey guys, welcome to my walkthrough of my 12 volt setup when I go camping. Now when I go camping, I don't have a trailer or anything, I just camp out the back of my ute, uh, either with a swag or at the tent. Um, wh whoever I'm going camping with, if it's the family, I take the tent. If it's just myself and a mate, I just take my swag and then pull out the, pull out the side awning and there's my kitchen. So, let me show you my 12 volt setup. Um, I'm sitting on it. So there it is, sitting in a Stanley Fat Max toolbox. Pretty easy. This thing is on wheels, so it's easy to cut around. I've got a handle here, which I can just basically wheel it back and forth whenever I need to move it. It's not too heavy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So well, let's open her up and have a look. Extends like that, and then the top box opens as well. So, pretty much, let's get into the guts of it. Down here, I've got just a couple of lanterns just for storage, move them out of the way. So, here is the battery I'm currently using, which is just a Dometic 66 amp hour battery. Um, my main one died recently, so I'm just using this um, temporarily, uh, just using it for power. And this is my box that I have made. So, I'm just gonna do it one-handed. Pop it up there. So, at the fr front here, I've got some USB ports. Around the side, I've got four cigarette lighter ports. The top got a little voltage meter. Then around the side here, I've got master power switch. 30 amp circuit breaker for the solar circuit and 30 amp circuit breaker for the main circuit. I've got three ends and plugs. So that red one takes solar input. I've got a uh, solar regulator built into the box. And these two is how I connect up the battery and another appliance if I need to. So yeah, I made this box myself. It's, it's It does the job. It's um yeah pretty much all I need for my type of camping. So, how I normally hook it up, in here I've got a answer plug to alligator clip. So just clip these onto the battery. And then plug the Anderson plug in. Just like that. Now, click it on, it should come up straight away. The refresh rate is not letting you see that, but it's definitely on and it's all getting power. I usually have a couple, just a king solar blanket. I think it's a 120 watt one. Um, so again, all I need, um, just plug straight in there and keeps the battery topped up. Um, all I really run off this is a fridge, some lights, um, and some chargers for some phones or speakers. So, very basic setup, but it's, as I said before, it does the job. So here in the back of my ute, I've got another Anderson plug coming out, direct from the battery on a 30 amp cable, 30 amp fuse. So it can actually power this box as well if I'm just on a short trip. Um, don't need the fridge or just want to have power in the back of the ute. So yeah, this is the ute. It's Triton 2016. It goes pretty good. Yeah, so I made this box here myself out of marine grade plywood. So it's waterproof, perfect size to fit. Um, my fat, fat Max box, and yeah, this is probably about my fourth attempt of getting it right, but I believe that this one is good. All my other ones have been quite big. So let me show you what else I've got in this toolbox. So, bottom section here, I've got a little 12 volt pump. Um, it's good for blowing up like, you know, kids' flotation devices or if a friend having an air mattress. Some USB cables, um, iPhone cable, Samsung cable, Type C. In here, I've got the just the normal cigarette lighter plugs for the standard connection, which 
my lights take them, um, the turbo air pump takes that. These here are extension cables, if I want to bring some light out to the campfire or whatnot. These are the same thing, but longer ones, 10 meters, got two of them. And here I've got a little dimmer switch. Don't use it very often, but it's good to have, as well as some splitters. And down here, I've got, this is a different type of connection I use for my daisy chain lights. Uh, I've got two of them in case I need to use two lots. And here you've got a compass, power bank, and these torches are pretty cool. Just a, just a cheap eBay thing, but it's a pretty good torch. And as you can see there, that just plugs into the cigarette lighter. And it charges them up. I've got about five of them, so it's good for if the kids leave them on. Doesn't matter. Just plug them in and charge them up. At the top here, I've got more just tools than that. So got some spare pegs, rubber bands, uh, zip ties, straps, uh, screwdrivers. Um, yeah, bits and bobs. And here I've got a mallet, hammer. These are the daisy chain lights. So you can just hang them up on the gazebo or tent or awning or whatever. And they just, I've got about 10 of them. You can just daisy chain them together. They're controllable individually. And they do put out a fair bit of light. A little 150 watt inverter. Barely use this, but it's good to have just in case. We have a floodlight. Bigger floodlight, strap, and yeah, another little lantern. Oh yeah, something else I have up here is these little S hooks and these side awning things, which are just great for hanging things up while you're camping. You know, you wash up the pots and pans, hang them up, let them dry. Um, always good to have. So yeah, that is my 12 volt setup. All nicely done in a Stanley Fat Max box. So yeah, that's my 12 volt setup. Uh, everything I take camping can be charged by this box, whether it be USB or just normal 12 volt. Um, I don't take anything that's 240 volt or that can't be charged, like takes rechargeable batteries. It's just a, uh, I don't like that myself. I just prefer everything to charge from the main battery. So yeah, if you like this, um, stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna have more videos coming soon. Thanks.